Hi. You want to say hi? Say hi. Say hi, everyone. Hi. Oh, give me a kiss on the cheek. Give me a kiss. No, come back. Hey, oh, no. He's running away, guys. Oh, whoa, whoa. We almost got attacked. Oh, shoot. They hate when you elevate They stacking up losses, I'm handing them out, yeah, I had to go delegate They feel like I'm floating, I'm lost in the moment, I swear I could levitate They never believed that I would really fly, I had to go demonstrate I had to set them free. What's up guys, it's your boy Damien, we're back You know what, what's up guys, it's the Criers And we're back with another video Now see my little man's back here in the back seat He's got his little tablet, man, and he's chilling So guys, we had a very very exciting last couple of days i can't even begin to tell you guys man but later on later on down the line man so listen guys the weather here has changed in h-town h-town as they say so it's been really hard to get out the house because you know when the weather changes, you go from 100 to 90 degrees down to 60 70 degrees and i'm not saying it's 70 degrees uh oh somebody took their seat off you cool because we parked but it is like 79 right now, guys, right here in Houston. So we've been stuck in the house because I didn't want to take a chance of us catching a flu. So uh, I don't want to get my little one sick. So I try to be careful. But so today, hi, you want to say hi? Say hi. Say hi, everyone. Hi. Oh, uh, give me a kiss on the cheek. Give me a kiss. Mwah. Hi. So I decided to bring Dion to the park today so we can run around. But I'm going to show you guys what happens when you let a two-year-old out the car, how he takes off. But I'm going to make sure he's pointed in the right direction before I actually release his hand. But they got swings and slides and stuff over there. And we just going to go over there and just have a great time, man. This is a typical Tuesday afternoon. And we decided not to sit in the house, you know, and get out and do something. So, if you guys noticed I haven't dropped a video in the last couple of days. There was a reason for that. But your boy is back now. Um, I'm not saying I'm going to drop every day. But I'm sure gonna try. But we finna ready to get out this car, man. And y'all see my little man, he's ready. He's he done climbed in the front seat. Dion, where you finna go? Huh? Where you finna go, little man? Huh? Well, look, you trying to put your seatbelt on? Hmm? If you was, you wouldn't be in the front driving. I mean, you wouldn't be in the front riding with me. You'd be in the back. Hmm? You ready to go bye bye? Hmm? Oh, now you wanna mess up the GPS, huh? Hmm? You just gonna mess up all my settings, huh? Dion, you gonna mess up my settings? Dion, come on, let's put your shoes on, little boy. He done took, oh lord, he about to activate some stuff now. Anyway, so you guys can see, it is 79 degrees uh, right here in Houston today, so I don't want nobody to think, oh, you got your son out there in the cold. That's not the case. Uh-oh, you ready? Hmm? You ready to go bye-bye? Hmm? Hmm? I don't know. I, Daddy shouldn't have wore his hoodie. It's kind of warm. So this right here, if you guys remember this part, if you guys guessed it, we are in uh, one of the area, well, this is the area I used to live in when I first moved to Houston. You guys might remember this gazebo from a certain video a couple of years ago. So I still come to this area to go to the park, a lot of little benches and stuff. So you ready to let me let you go? Here, go ahead. There you go, there you go. He's out of there. Oh no. Oh no. He's doing exactly what I thought. He's running straight to the park, guys. And this is what I need right here for him to just run around. You know, he gets a regular nap every day. But sometimes he don't really take his nap. I get lucky sometimes. And when I say I get lucky sometimes, is he'll actually stay up all day. And he won't take a nap. And he'll end up going to bed with me. And he'll sleep really good all night. Now when he does take a nap, He'll wake up maybe throughout the night, but you wanna get on the slide? Hmm? You wanna get on the slide? Hmm? I'll let him run around and just tire himself out a little bit. And then it's a beautiful day to just have him in the house. The other park actually has a swing. Actually, you know what guys? We may actually go to the other park because that other park has a swing. I can actually set him in that swing and push him. You know what? I think we're gonna do it. 
we may be like 25 minutes away from the other park so we're gonna go over there here in a few minutes and because that one has more stuff for him to do like this right here is cool but the other park as you'll see it has like swings that he can hang onto the chain it's like a little bucket seat and he can swing in and out and just have a good time come on you're gonna go up here come on come on come on you're gonna go up on the slide you're gonna go to the other park for the swings hmm come on let's go walk around out here come on you want to run around for a minute? Come on. Uh, all right, there he is. No, come back. Hey, oh no. He's running away, guys. I can tell he got a, I can tell by the back of his head, he got a big old smile on his face. Hmm? This is fall time in Texas, guys. Oh, what's up, man? You enjoying yourself? Hmm? Huh? If I let him run around at this park for a minute, he cool. And then we go to the other park, I can push him on a swing. I did a shorts last year where I had him at that same park. I'm, I'm talking about going here in a little bit. Now that park actually has like little ponds and stuff where me and Darian went fishing up there multiple times. So I, what I'm gonna let him do is run around at this park and tire himself out. That way he can, you know, run off some of that energy. And then we go to the other park let me get on a swing. Okay. You want to go up here? Come on. There we go. You ready? One, two, three. Ah. <laughs> Yay. You did it. Good job. Good job. He's looking like, I want to do it again, Dad. Hmm? My little man's getting so big. He'll be three years old in December. Ready? Ready? Now fold the other leg. One, two, three. Woo! <laughs> Yay! Good job, man. Eddie's so proud of you. All right. You want to run around some more? Hmm? You want to run around some more? Look at him. Your booty all dirty. Your booty is so dirty. This is why I haven't been in the gym lately. There's no need to. Dion, not just Dion, any two year old will keep an adult or grown person really busy and active. Dion, Dion. Uh oh, uh oh, here he come. Oh. People be like, one thing that they like about when they see Dion in my videos, they say he's always running. It's true. I mean, this boy, be running and it's like he don't run out of energy like he never gets tired right. ready you ready come on come on little man down you ready? One, two, throw! Oh, yay! Good job. Good job. Good job. See, this is the really small one right here, guys. That's a much larger one right there. I definitely don't feel comfortable with him getting on that large one. You going up for another round? Hmm? Hmm? Oh, shoot. Here we go. All right. Come on. Come on. Let's go. One, two, three. I had to come up out of that hoodie, man. It was so hot, plus him running around the park. So we stayed at the other park for about 40 minutes. Dion played on the slide and he loved it. But they had swings, but they didn't have the safety swings with the little bucket. So I brought him to another park about 20, 25 minutes away. This is still in another old area that I used to live in. Well, the old area that I used to live in. And this was one of my favorite parks I used to come to. Um, so I'm gonna bring him here and let him now this park I'm not gonna let him run around freely at this park um, Like I did at the other park this park right here has I think three to four ponds out here So I definitely cannot let him run the last time Dion came to this park with me He was in his little red wagon or I think we had like his stroller at the time So I'm gonna take him over here and put him on the swing I remember a couple years ago, I put him uh, a year ago, I put him on a swing. He loved it so much. He was laughing the whole entire time. But he got really upset earlier when we left the other park because he thought it was over with for the day. 
he don't even realize what's about to happen. So let's go. You ready? Hmm? He took his shoes off again. Kids. So we just got the car, guys. This was the other lake I was telling you guys about. I mean, this is the other park I was telling you guys about. This park actually has three ponds. There's one right there. But I think in a way, little man know what's up. He knows we're at a different park, so he's not mad at me anymore. But he was pissed earlier. Now, with the weather change, like I said, it's like 79. It's just shy of 80 degrees. They still got like the little splash pad over there running this time of year, which is, I'm, I'm kind of shocked, but I'm actually not too shocked because Texas, well, Houston, where I'm at, it stays pretty warm out here. Look at you. You ain't mad no more, is you? Hmm? Here's an, and look, I just showed you guys a pond right there. Look, we're approaching another pond. Another one. You know what? There might be actually four ponds. Yeah, I think I said in the truck earlier, four ponds here. So you guys see the ducks out there playing and stuff? Just get a little zoom real quick. A little something, something. Check them out. Y'all ready to go home and get in the oven? Put some onions and mushrooms around y'all? Ooh, actually that don't sound bad. What y'all know about fried potatoes with onions? Dion, you want to eat some home fries with Dad today? We're going to get some home fries. Matter of fact, oh, whoa, whoa, we almost got attacked. Oh, shoot. Did y'all see that? We almost got attacked by ducks. Oh, my God. That's what I was saying. They still got the splash pad over here running. But that's not what we're here for. We are actually here for those little swings. You hear Dion? He said, yay. You happy now? Hmm? You thought Dad was just gonna take you from one park and take you straight home? Nah. We finna have some fun. Yay! See? Look, he all smiles now. See, this is what I was trying to tell you earlier. I wanted to bring you up here. He loved this swing thing. Dion, you got anything to say? Hmm? You got anything to say now? Hmm? He has nothing to say. He just all smiles. Mm -hmm. Hmm? See, he cool, man. It's the little smallest. Ooh, you can't even see me. It's the smallest things, man, that matter. Like I said, the last few days, like the summertime here in Texas, man, it was so freaking hot this summer. It's like you couldn't really do any outside events. And then, like, if you go to the beach, the beach is plentiful, but it'd be so many people there, man but we was really limited. Like this whole entire passing summer that just passed, we was limited on a lot of stuff because you had more people dying because of the heat stroke stuff down here than pretty much the COVID. It was just crazy down here. Look at this boy. So now we're actually able to get out. And that's why I said it's the little stuff that matters. Look, he all smiles. He don't have a care in the world. All he care about is on the swing right now. What's going on? Yay. Hmm? Yay. <laughs> is he going to stop smiling? Hmm? Is he going to stop smiling? Is he going to stop smiling? Hmm? I guess not. Oh, by the way, it's not just swings here, guys. This park got a lot of stuff, too. That's the slides over there. That slide is too big. Well, no, there's a bigger slide right there. There's a smaller slide over there. So I think Dion can get on that slide. They have another. Oh, this has three slides. Four slides. So this has like four slides right here. Let's check this out real quick. I might put him on one of these horses. Hold on. Good night. You ready? Yay, let's go. You put the brakes on. <laughs> Why you come down so slow, man? Hmm? You came sliding down real slow. Uh-oh. Hmm. You gonna go back up? Come on. Let's go back up again. Oh, he wanna try that slide over there. Here. You wanna go up this one? Hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead, little man. Yay. Take giant steps. There you go, little man. That's what daddy talking about. Hmm. Come here. Come here. Come on. 
Yay. Uh-oh, he got stuck again. Uh, good job. Give me five. Give me five. Good job. Guys, look at this giant turtle right here. Look. Look. Uh-oh, it's going to take off. It's going to take off. Oh, he's out of there. You see him, Dion? Oh, my God. There's hundreds of them out there. They everywhere. Come on. Let's go see what else we, we can see, little one. Come on. It's almost time for us to go eat uh, lunch. You guys might have noticed from the last couple of videos, I have not got a haircut. Not because I can't afford to, or not because I just can't get one. It's because I'm actually letting my hair grow out a little bit. I'm trying to get my little brush waves back in my hair. I know some of y'all may not believe me, but probably a week, I'm gonna say a week and a half to two weeks from now, some of y'all gonna say, Mr. Cryer, you got brush waves. So you guys are seeing the dead beginning. I'm gonna show you guys what I went and got about a week ago to get the process started. I got kind of like naturally, naturally wavy curly hair. So first thing I needed was that Murray's hair grease. I used to use this when I was growing up um, and I have brush waves. I got a new rag and I have the wave brush So I've been using this every single day and it's something that I want to do for myself. It's sort of like getting my teeth done It's something that I want to do for myself. My barber. She's cool and everything But the last haircut I had got two weeks ago. I had her just to do the sides But not touch the top. So this is gonna be like the beginning part. It looks a little thin up there Don't it? your boy is getting a little older but if I let this top grow out a little bit, it's gonna darken this in. And about a week or two, we're gonna have these waves crispy, guys. So don't say I didn't tell you guys. But let's go check on little man real quick. Let's see what he do. He's still woke. Mm -mm -mm. Oh Lord. What are you doing up? You still woke? Mm. You still woke. Mm. You still woke. Hi. What you doing still woke? You might be taking an afternoon nap. Hmm? We. Wee. What do you mean we? It's afternoon nap. Mm, mm, mm. I knew he was still woke. I knew he was. I was kind of hesitating on if I wanted him to take a nap right now. Look at all his little toys lined up. He got them everywhere. I don't, you know what guys? I don't even know why. I pick up behind him, like, I'm one of them, like, dads, man, like, no matter how much he mess up, oh, literally, no matter how much he mess up, no matter how much stuff that he throw around, I always go behind him, like, right then and there on the spot immediately, and I start picking up stuff after him. Comment down below if you're one of those type of parents. You know that they're going to mess up. You know it's a waste of your time. Picking up something every time they throw something on the floor and you still pick it up in a way and a few minutes later You find yourself bending over picking the stuff up again and putting it away So that's what I did before he went to bed for his nap even though he's not asleep I know when he wake up. It's gonna be all over the place again all these toys right here It's not a whole lot, but it's all gonna be all over the place He has this look now this thing right here Dion he man when I stayed in my other house this thing used to run all the time. Now, Dion is literally scared of this thing. So if I turn it on, he'll take off running to the bedroom. And he got more toys, right? Well, he must have them upstairs somewhere. Oh, he got stuff here back here. But I want to say thank you guys for watching this video, man. I love you guys, man. Comment down below if you'd enjoy it. And also, I want to say huge shout out to the entire Cryer family. Thank you guys for supporting all of my platforms. We're about to hit 1.4 million on Facebook either. Maybe not this week, but possibly the second part of next week. Maybe Wednesday or Thursday of next week. And also, we're about to hit 100K on the Damien Cryer YouTube channel, guys. Probably within the next few days. Like, literally, within the next few days, we're about to hit 100K, man. So, I want to say thank you all for the love and support, man. This is what I'm gonna keep doing what we're doing, man. It's not gonna stop, man. We gotta get ready for these holidays, get ready for this next holiday giveaway. I don't know if it's gonna be Thanksgiving or Christmas, Christmas or Thanksgiving, maybe even New Year's, but hopefully by the grace of God, I'll be doing a giveaway 
in the next coming holidays, man. But anyway, I love you all, and I'm gonna see you on the next video. Until next time, I'm Damian Cryer, gang.